Here we have for sale our 2019 on a 68 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is a T6, meaning this is the sixth generation of the VW Transporter. This is a T32, meaning it has got a 3.2 tonne gross vehicle weight. This has got the 2 litre TDI Euro 6 diesel engine, which produces 150 brake horsepower, and that's accompanied with a six speed manual gearbox in this particular van. And this is the short wheelbase Highline combi and what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around i'll show you the spec that you get on a volkswagen transporter highline combi of this age and we'll also talk you through of course the bits which have clearly been added to this particular example and also the condition ownership service history that type of thing seeing as this vehicle is currently available for sale at the time of recording so starting here then at the rear of the vehicle we can see that this one is specced with a rear glazed tailgate what i mean by that is a tailgate is one door which opens up like so and glazed it has got the rear window now a highline will come with a number of elements color coded as standard that includes the bumpers so the front and rear bumper comes color coded all of the door handles come color coded in the uh, body color as well uh, and you can see here within this color coded rear bumper we have nice parking sensors there nicely integrated into the rear bumper this particular example also has a rear camera fitted and uh, we'll show you the screen a little bit later on in the video and how all that works in the cab in terms of condition here at the rear of the vehicle I must say it's in very very good order uh, we can use the reflections here it's in a lovely deep black pill is the name of this color and it gives us some fantastic reflections which is where we can really have a look and see for any dings or dents and you can just see how clean and tidy this is there's a couple of very light hairline marks on the top of the rear bumper like just here I don't know if you can see that but that is being very critical and very minor indeed and it does seem to be a small little touch in just there on the paintwork there on the tailgate but as I say very very minor it looks very presentable indeed now in terms of bits which have been added or changed on this example we can see that we've got a lovely gloss black rear badge which obviously ties in very nicely with the gloss black uh, paintwork and a lovely tailgate spoiler there on top as well which obviously adds to the sporty look if we open up the tailgate then we can start to have a look inside the load space here and the thing that just grabs me straight away is how clean and tidy this is here in the back so you can see the arches all of the original panels here all looking very very clean and tidy indeed a highline combi does come with this very nice soft touch uh, flooring which is much nicer when you go to kneel in the back of it plenty of tie down points here in the back of the vehicle as well uh, on the floor to tie down any cargo that you've got having a look inside here the inside of the tailgate all in very good condition and you've got the nice uh, grab handle just here as well when you want to shut it you can see here this is the first look at the rear seats i'll talk you through those in a lot more detail when we go around to the other side but as i say just fantastic condition inside here of course feel free to pause the video at any point if you want to sort of have a closer look at any particular thing here which i'm showing you but it's looking very very nice if there's anything that i can see uh, defect wise i gladly point that out to you to give you as much information as possible moving then down the driver's side of the vehicle and again we can just use those reflections because you can get a real mirror-like finish here of the other transporter and also the custom there in the background but looking very very clean and tidy this particular example has had these very smart 20 inch gunmetal gray wolf race alloy wheels fitted along with a nice set of sidebars as well just really does change the look of the vehicle we're just starting to pick terrain here as well so we won't try and keep this too long just in case the van does start to get a bit wet but looking very very clean and tidy if i'm being very critical there's a tiny little uh, i don't know if you'd even call it a dent but there's a tiny little sort of blemish just there but otherwise looking very smart indeed if we open up the driver's door we can start to have a look inside the cab here so the step the floor all looking in really good order put our mat back down there to keep the floor tidy electric windows electric heated folding mirrors on this particular example so folding mirrors is not standard specification uh, heated mirrors are standard on a high line but folding mirrors are not so that's a nice little optional extra there auto activated lights you also get auto activated wipers you can see that we do have two full remote keys with this vehicle it's the samora trim in this age of vehicle which is uh, basically the uh, the texture or the the pattern on the seats here 
they call this Samora. Twin adjustable armrests on the driver's seat, so you can adjust that using the little dial underneath there. Height adjustability here as well, and you can just see how clean and tidy this is inside. This one is spec'd with a dual passenger seat, obviously benefit of that, you get six seats, and you also get some storage under there, which I'll show you in just a second when we go around to the other side. 40,519 miles recorded, and you can see there that the vehicle is running, idling correctly, no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard, and it sounds very sweet indeed. Mul uh, leather multifunctioning steering wheel on the left hand side here, you've got your cruise control settings and your volume for the radio, and then on the right hand side, this is where you've got your onboard computer controls as well, if you want to find your range and things like that in front of you there, 270 miles left of fuel in this example. As I mentioned right at the start of the video, 150 brake horsepower 2 litre TDI engine in this particular one. Uh, and I say that comes with a six speed manual gearbox. Air conditioning comes as standard on a Highline. You also get a heated windscreen. There's a USB port over here as well. That may have been disconnected now with this new uh, head unit. And uh, if I show you this, we've got a nice Pioneer DAB head unit fitted in here. Of course, you can connect your phone to this via uh, Bluetooth. And if I just jump inside, I'll show you just a couple of the little features here. So you have got, when it loads, you have got satellite navigation on here, which is a very nice feature indeed. And if you put the vehicle into reverse, you can see there that you have got your rear parking camera as well. You can see that we've got the full book pack with the vehicle in the original leather wallet. And if we have a look at the seat here, if you give the seat a pull at the front, you hear that nice clicking noise. And that flips forward then and gives you plenty of storage there underneath the front passenger seats. Now let's jump out, continue to go around the outside before it does absolutely tip down here. But it's a lovely condition inside there, not much to fault it on at all. Looking then to, uh, towards the front of the vehicle, now this one has had uh, really nice uh, styling done to it. So everything has been gloss blacked on the front of here. All of the grills, these would usually be in uh, sort of an unpainted textured plastic, but all of these have been uh, gloss blacked, which I think just looks so good on a uh, on a black transporter. And we've got the lovely Sportline style front splitter here as well. The tow and eye cover is uh, missing. We have ordered a new one of, uh, new one of those. Uh, so that will be on the vehicle when it, uh, well, tomorrow that will be on the vehicle. Uh, so that will be on there uh, upon collection or delivery. And we can see here that uh, the front badge has been changed for a carbon fibre effect front badge. But just a fantastic looking front end. And say so that Sportline style front splitter, lovely 20 inch wolf race alloys and all gloss black and as a nice carbon fibre little detail there. Just looks really, really smart indeed. Front fog lights come as standard on a high line also and in terms of condition here say so there are a couple of spots of rain on the bonnet so do apologize for that uh, but there's no real uh, excessive stone chipping or anything like that to the front here you're going to get the odd one here or there of course that's as to be expected with anything with 40,000 miles but all in all looking very very smart indeed there are a couple of little uh, marks and touch-ins just here on the very edge of the passenger door mirror if we're being critical and then looking down the passenger side here and again just having a look down that line of sight there for any dents or marks or scratches it's looking really clean indeed if we open up the uh, single glazed side loading door the, the, you do have an opening window on both sides on the transporter we can then show you the fantastic combi seats so this one is specced with a two plus a one uh, so as standard these come with a bench but you can option these uh, like this so this is a nice option actually the two plus the one what this gives you the option to do is to use this seat completely independently so you can just remove this seat if you want to to load longer items uh, down this side or of course vice versa with the double as well you can just remove those and leave the single in there's this little um, handle here on the side give that a pull Oh, it's not doing it for me now, uh, but if you give that a pull, you can flip the seat forward. It's difficult to do with one hand sometimes. Got this little tab just here, give that a pull, and we'll see if we can do that. There we go. I can do that one with one hand. You can fold the seat down flat like this. If you go over to the full advert, you'll see all the different positions of that uh, when I've got two hands available. You can see on the floor here, again, more tie down points here, and you've got, uh, of course, the back of the front seat, all looking in really, really good order. And you've got uh, a, a little uh, tab here. You can actually fold the front seats down as well. So 
uh, it can actually give you a really good uh, loading uh, option there if you wanted to but as a very good uh, condition throughout in the front here of course we've already seen the front seats no issues there no rips tears cigarette burns anything like that and the passenger door card all looking in really good order as well now this vehicle is one owner from new which is uh, of course always nice and we have got uh, a record of a very recent service at uh, literally 40,000 miles so a full service is carried out there and this vehicle is Euro 6 as well. So being on a, uh, it's a 2019 on a 68 plate, you can take this vehicle into the ultra low emission zone areas and it will uh, meet the Euro 6 um, uh, capacity. So the, uh, as I say, the ultra low emission zone, it will meet uh, those parameters as well. So just to summarize, 2019 on a 68 plate Volkswagen Transporter T6 is a T32. Crucially, that's a 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight. So. This will keep your accountant happy that it is classed as a commercial vehicle. 2 litre TDI diesel Euro 6 engine, 150 brake horsepower, 6 speed manual gearbox, short wheelbase, highline, 6 seat combi van, finished in the lovely deep black pearl metallic paintwork, fantastic condition throughout, it must be said. Sidebars, 20 inch uh, wolf race, uh, gunmetal grey alloy wheels, uh, rear spoiler, uh, full change of the front end, including the Sportline style front splitter all gloss black uh, grills gloss black rear badge carbon fiber effect uh, front badge and i say just fantastic condition throughout uh, engine is uh, running perfectly drives absolutely spot on as well if you'd like to uh, see more details of this particular vehicle including uh, the price the photographs and the full description please head over to our website bridgeendvans.co.uk where you'll find all of that information about this particular van if you haven't already we will of course welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign remember that we can arrange finance on all of our vehicles starting as low as 7.9 percent apr we can take cars or vans in part exchange as well and we can deliver these vans nationwide so by all means get in contact and we can run through all of uh, these details with you spare wheel is located just under here for anyone who's interested but thank you very much for watching